good morning welcome back to my channel welcome to this week's Sunday morning car boot haul video I didn't spend a great deal although I did buy some weighty stuff so first up a very small fill a bag for three pounds and in my fill a bag I have got a Norman Rockwell waiting at the shore collector's plate between five and ten pounds nothing very exciting on that one excuse the puppy a chrome photo frame which I will put in bundles with other chrome frames at some point. Now I think this is going to be a handmade comforter, I think somebody has crocheted this for a family member and whether I can sell it or not I do not know, I don't know whether it's going to have any resale value but somebody's put a lot of work into that, it's a very nice thing look, somebody's worked hard on that so that went in. And the same with this one, I'm not sure if this is homemade or, or store bought, it's very very neat circular knit I wouldn't even know where to begin to knit something like that is it knit or crochet I don't actually know maybe it's crochet I'm not sure but yeah maybe that's also handmade I got a Fido's Diner dog bowl which says hungry on the outside thirsty on the inside and a bone that went in fill a bag three pound fit as much in as you can that's five items so far. Now bear in mind we also had two, um, a ball for the dog and a soft toy for the dog, so that's seven items. Some GCSE revision cards, they sell for about a tenner. That's eight items. Two, I was going to say two rubber ducks, but I think actually they're supposed to be pigeons or doves, I'm not sure. Not sure what you're meant to be, but um, they are for our cruise in May. And then a roll of not stitched tapestry uh, designs and there were no walls or anything there's just these so there these are RBC Tapisserie de, pa de Paris good lord there's that one I don't know how much these would cost normally I have no idea this one so these are these are floor designs with the French names on them and I've got three different ones of those but yeah they haven't been stitched at all and then there's this oh, this little Cupid design and this long Hastings, be on the that's the beachfront at Hastings. I just put them in because I was like, oh look, unstitched tapestries. I have absolutely no idea what I might be able to sell them for. So how many items did I say? Nine items, I think. Oh, ten if you include the ducks, which we won't. Nine items, three pound. So 33 pence per item. It's always worth putting some stuff in a filler bag. And I said a couple of dog toys as well, so dogs are happy. I probably sound very short of breath. Anthony made me laugh so much I coughed into a frenzy a little while ago and now my chest is very tight and I can't can't I can't stop coughing, so. Do you remember the whole multicoloured pot thing where I broke one and then Josh had the spare? Well this week I found the oil and vinegar salt and pepper cruet set that goes with it. So that was a um, different seller entirely. That was £1.50, so very unusual to find that. I bought two vintage 1990s. Why are you wet? That's actually wet. Hmm, maybe it was sat in a puddle. Uh, oh my, my life, my brain's gone blank. Martin Spencer, St Michael. They've got vintage St Michael tags on them. Plush toys. About ten of each on those, although one of them definitely is drying out. I paid 50p for this bright side cake to go and it says on the back portable happiness this is the bright side range remember last week I bought the biscuit tin this week I've got a cake to go tin that was 50p I love this bright side stuff I really really like the designs I gave Eric two pound Eric Eric is a seller I try and buy something off if I get the chance two pounds for a little Kath Kidston mug and a little Kath Kidston travel card travel Travel card holder. Good lord, Carly, get your words out. So it's a, just a three-way, three-window travel pass holder. Little bit on the grubby side, but nothing too bad, you know. Support your old small businessman and all that. Two pounds for a bag of molten brown ultra-pure mil milk soaps. I think this is a travel size. Somebody presumably got their husband to bring them home from a hotel. Why did I, why did I say husband? It's not just husbands who go on business to hotels. Presumably these are hotel travel sizes and somebody has collected them and I do not know why some, why I said got their husband to bring them home. Apparently I'm apparently I've I've forgotten about women having jobs now. <laughs> I've forgotten all about that. 
I do catch myself up on these things now. Okay, and then four pound to one seller for these three items, which are a Remington curler. This is the Prolux Prolux hair curler. Sells for around fifteen to twenty pound. A Jane lamb sheep comforter should sell for about ten pounds, and. A random tin full of somebody's rubber collection. I don't think they're very vintage. It would have been lovely if they were vintage, but I don't think they are very vintage. Although that is Tommy from the Rugrats, isn't it? And I don't think Rugrats is on anymore. So maybe they are. They could be 20 years old, I suppose. The Miniature Pony Centre, Morton, Hampstead, Devon, West Country Wildlife Park. Somebody went around and collected all the rainbow rubbers, look. Just goes to show how all of the touristy stuff is exactly the same just got a different thing printed on it cheddar gorge i found four rainbow rubbers from different places so far cotswold wildlife park and there's another one somebody obviously went oh i really like the rainbow ones ss great britain have we got anything that's remotely unusual in here i don't think we have there's a lot oh there's another rugrats one that's uh tom no, that's tommy isn't it that's tommy who's that is that was he called Chucky? Chucky from Rugrats, is that right? Another rainbow one. There's a lot of the rainbow ones. I don't think I have Angelica from Rugrats. Remember Angelica? She was the spoilt cow, wasn't she? There's a huge number of these rainbow ones. So yes, yeah, somebody's rubber collection. And what value will be on it, I do not know. They're nearly all West Country. That's interesting. Yeah, somebody must have gone on a lot of days out. There's a Forever Friends bear. There's a My Little Pony. So there's a couple of older ones. Nothing very unusual, I don't think, and I'll probably sell it as a whole. Probably just sell it as a bundle. So, yeah, that was £4 for the hair curler, the rubbers, and the... I realise if you're watching America, you're sniggering now. In Britain, we call them rubbers. In America, you call them erasers. And rubbers to you guys are something entirely different. I realise that. <laughs> um, £4 for that, the comforter, and the hair styler. And then from Steve... £2 for a sculpt clay kit. I don't know if all the bits are there or not. It looked fairly complete, but I couldn't, couldn't tell if it had been opened without profit. I don't think these have been opened. I don't know. This one's been opened because there's less in it. I think one's been opened and one hasn't. It does have some of the tools and some of the paint and whatever. So there should be some resale on that. And then last but by no means least, Listack. This is Denby Intro, blue and white striped. I have six cereal bowls, seven side plates and 12 large dinner plates. It was £10 for all of it. And look, I looked very briefly while we were at the car boot, very, very briefly because it was freezing cold. So looking, having, having a proper look, Somebody has got the, they've got one of four Denby Intro Blue Stock 10 and 3 quarter inch dinner plate listed as out of stock, five sold. So this is a single plate. They were selling a single plate for £12. Uh, somebody's got two blue cereal bowls. They went for £13.60. Four of the cereal bowls, they went for £12. Two of the salad plates, which is this size, 9 99 for two. Four of the large dinner plates, 39 99 for four. So I think my 10 quid is quite safe. It's not in mint condition. Yeah, it's been used. It's, some, it's been somebody's uh, daily ride, so to speak. But I'll get a bit of the pink stuff on it and see if I can get rid of any of the surface marks because the pink stuff's brilliant for getting rid of cutlery marks and stuff like that on stoneware. And we'll see where we go with it. I, I, it should be, should be a safe return on a tenner. Even if I sold it again as it is, I think I could stick it on Marketplace for 40 quid easily. So I will break it down. I will sell it as individuals and it should be a very safe return for my channel on that one. That's it, that's all I bought today. I was very restrained. I held back, didn't let myself go at all because um, working, as you know, with very limited space now, and I need to list as fast as I buy and drill down through the death pile. So thank you for joining me for this one. As always, if you've seen anything that you fancy, let me know. My email address is always in the description box and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye for now.